Hey y'all, I'm Jay and welcome back to JTube and today we will be doing a mukbang on my first fight. Now, during my first fight, I fought twice, so this is going to be a two-in-one. And inside this video, we have a special guest, drum roll please. Four slices of good pizza and one cookie and one water bottle. Okay, so y'all, getting started. So y'all, we going to start off. I'm not gonna, you know... So y'all, to start off, I'm not gonna say his name or the girl's name or something like that. So, to start off, um, we met, like, we met on, like, I think the second month of school. So, I just started school. I was inside second grade. And, we well, were friends, we're just gonna call him Thomas. So me and Thomas were friends, and um, we were friends. Uh, so we were like we met on one day of school on the bus, cause he was inside sixth grade, and we met off the bus. And y'all, let me tell you, this little boy was talking crap, okay, straight crap, and. I was like, okay, what's the problem? Like, like, I used to go over his house and I used to play on his Xbox while he played Minecraft on his PC. Or if you people do not know what PC is, a computer. So, you know, he always had a lot to say. Wait, I'm talking about he always had a lot to say about anything. The way I dress, my hair, the way my face looked, not me. I ignored him because when I was little, if someone talked about me, I did not have like a high temper. So I was mad. I was like, okay. I was like, look, if you don't like me, that's fine. I don't really care. And then again, he kept on talking. So, okay, I'm scared. And. I don't want the water to drop, so I'm gonna just move it. So after, we're gonna call the girl Trinity. So, um, me and Trinity was friends until um, hmm, me and Trinity were friends, and let's just say someone told her I was talking about her when I wasn't. And then, and when someone was like telling, telling, telling about all this stuff, her best friend was hyping her up. You know how your friends hype you up, and they're like, "Oh, go beat that, go beat them up and stuff." So, me over here, this was the first fight, so I know what to do. You know, people crowd in us. They're like, "Go, go, go!" I'm like, "What?" And, um, the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders were jumping up and down like, go, go, go. Now, I went to a school where it was K through 8, which means kindergarten to 8th grade. And, you know, I don't know if it was a private school. I don't know. But I think it was because we were uniform. And, um, it was crowded and they were like, go, go, go. And, and, and like, she threw a punch. No, no, she slapped me. And then, like, I was like, mm -mm. I hit her back, and then, like, we was going at it, going at it, going at it. Until, until, um, until her brother came. Her brother split us apart. Now, me, I would think her brother's gonna walk up and beat me up. You know, you know, beat me up for hitting his sister, but he didn't. He just spread us apart. And, let me tell y'all. This little girl starts to fight her own brother. Me, I'm standing there. I'm just laughing. I was like, oh my God. She's going to beat up twice because I beat her up. And I know I did. So after that, you know, she did not live where I lived. She lived inside the bus stop. I mean, ugh, I'm so stupid. We both went to the bus stop after the fight. And I went on the bus. And I guess someone told her that 
oh, oh, go on the bus, go beat him up. I was like, what? This girl walked on the bus, got her shoes, threw her shoe out the window, and said, let's go. I was like, I just beat you up. I'm not going to fight you again. After that, this girl said, oh, so what the, you going to do then? And I was like, Lord, please save me. I do not got time for this. After that, we started fighting on the bus. Now, me, honestly, I did not personally hit girls. But I was little, and that was my first fight, and I did not really know better. So, after that, I remember I came home. And then, like, um, when I came home, um, you know, I didn't tell anybody that I fought. So, I came home. And Thomas over here comes out of nowhere. And, like, he just comes to my house straight. And, cause, um, he was friends, he was friends with my brother. Come to my house. He was like some, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, where's your brother? I was like, you just walked through the door. You didn't even say hi. You just walked into my house while I was saying hi. And I was like, oh. You just walked into my house while I was saying hi. After that, I said, oh, I'm, oh, my brother's inside the room. He said, okay. After that, I was like, this boy is something else. After that, my brother comes over and was like, oh, hi, what's going on, blah, blah, blah. You know, the normal stuff. And then after, all I remember was, we went to his house. Me, me and my brother went to his house. And we went there. I played Minecraft. Um, him and my brother are like, like, like him and my brother were playing a game, but I forgot what the game was called. And then, um, and then he had like these fruit snacks, but I didn't know what they were. So I was like, "Can I get one?" Um, he showed attitude. Like I'm talking about strict attitude. Like. Like, um, he gave my brother one, and then, like, when I asked him for one, he turned around, he said, and I was like, what? After that, I like, can I get one? He said, sure. Like, 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 he gave me a snake attitude. Now, me, when I was little, if you showed attitude at me, I'll show attitude back, back to you. So... Looked at me, I got his said, okay, fine. I was like, no, you must not know who you and talking to. He was like, oh, yes, I do. I was like, sure. And then, and I'm like, we stayed at his house for like a few more, like, we, saw, we stayed at his house for like an hour. And then my mom called him back. She said, come, come eat. At that time, I had a phone. You know, you know, I had a cool pad. And then, um, you know, went home. And when I was at home, I was eating. And just sits there while we were eating. And then, um, after that, after he chooses to do that, you know, I'm like, okay. You gonna come, you watch the I'm fine with that. And then, um, after, this shit really pissed me off. Oh. It was like around like six something when um, this occurred, but we went outside. We're outside, you know, just sitting there. And then this little boy went to walk up and spot me. I was like, mm-mm. I was like, mm-mm. This is not poor Michelle. Michelle not going to break her back. Like you just shot me. And I was like, oh, really? So you want to hit me? So me as a little kid, I started throwing punches. Like, I'm talking about straight punches. And then I pushed him on the ground. Now, at this moment, 
since I was a little kid. Instead of me walking over there and pounding him inside his face, I picked up mulch. Mulch. I picked it up and I just, ooh, I picked it up and I just threw it on him over and over again. Now, us, we live inside an apartment, but it was like, it was like a four-story apartment building and there were like thousands of buildings and it was like a big apartment place. So behind the uh, like, like, like in the middle of the apartment place, there's like a lake. So when I threw mulch at him, like, 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 like we were at the front of it. Now, like in my, so like in my apartment, like inside the patio, you can see the lake. So he gets up, he walks around and I'm like, you just made the most dumbest. You just made the most dumbest decision ever. You go to the lake. Go to the lake. I pick up a big stick and I'm like, okay, let's go. And let me tell you, I whooped his ass, okay? I whooped it. Smacked him everywhere. His face, his stomach, everywhere. As soon as she got up, he pushed me on the ground. And I was like, who are you pushing? And then he pushed me on the ground and then he kicked me. And I was like, mm -mm. I said, what? I got back up. Um, He started throwing mulch at me. He started throwing it at me. But thank the Lord, and I didn't my eyes. I was like, Okay, you want to throw much at me? I'm gonna push your ass into the lake. He kicked off his sandals. That's like, like, when he was throwing much at me, he kicked off his sandals. And I grabbed his sandals. I threw that jacket inside the lake. After I threw it inside the lake, he got up. He's like, oh my god, why'd you do that? Now, I grabbed his other sandal. I threw it inside the lake as well. I was like, what you gonna do now without your sandals? And then, he was like, what am I gonna do with my sandals? He was getting aggravated. I was talking about 100% aggravated. And I was like, okay, what you gonna do now? You're not gonna do anything now. This boy said, oh, I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna walk over there and hit you. I was like, come on. I was sitting here for the whole time, come hit me. He walks up, he throws a punch. I do this. Another punch. Another punch. After that, I'm like. And here's the thing. My back was facing the apartment. His back was facing the pond. So I get was as smart as I am. I pushed him into the lake. And let's just say he swam with the fishies. No. No, let me tell you, my brother was watching this the whole time and laughing. To be honest, I asked myself till today, why didn't he help me? Because look, y'all, as soon as I pushed, pushed him inside the lake, that's where my brother came and, and him spread something hit him. He wasn't barely in the lake. He was in the lake. I'm talking about full... I'm talking about four in the lake. I'm talking about to the neck in the lake. And, you know, after that, he tried to become friends with me again. I, you, you know, I declined. I want to go get more better friends. Because I was like, you cannot be friends, friends anymore. It's like, if I beat you up, you cannot be friends, period. There's no, oh, we can make it work. No. We can't be friends, period. And it's like, till today, if anybody touched me, and you got no reason to put your hands on me, I will beat you up. I will do it. Unless you don't have an accident. Now, look, if you get on an accident, that's fine. I'm not going to beat you up. But, you know, if you do it on purpose, you're done for, period.
So y'all, thank you for watching the mukbang of me and my first fight. I mean, you know, I think about it and I was like, I'm going to be posting every single Tuesday because Tuesday is a good day for me. And you know, and you know, I'm probably gonna have one or two videos set for you guys to watch. So, you know, if you guys want to see more of me, you know, telling childhood stories or just talking about stuff in particular or a Q&A, please comment it down below and I'll do it. But otherwise, let's get that out of here and thank you guys for watching. Okay, so y'all, um, the camera is acting funny, so I have to put it down because it kept on falling when I was recording. So, before we go in, you know, like... So y'all wait, before we go ahead and end this YouTube video, I would like to go and tell y'all about this new designer that just came out with this shirt, well with this like, this sweater slash shirt with a hoodie and it's a really nice jacket that I have, which means you guys might be seeing it, which means you guys might be seeing me wearing it in some of my YouTube videos, but I like to promote him, um, his designery clothes are called vision and he uses my favorite font with which is Nocative. i personally like it like you, like you can see it on my banner for my youtube channel and it's just i just wanted to promote him before i finish this video but thank you guys for watching my youtube video on my first fight and i'll see you guys inside the next video bye